हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अजिंक्य कुलकर्णी को फाउंडर ऑफ टैलेंट बैटल एंड आई एम राइट नाउ क्रिएटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो टू शेयर विथ यू अ वेरी बिग अनाउंसमेंट दैट इन्फोसिस हैज आल्सो लॉन्च इट्स ऑन कैंपस ड्राइव फॉर द स्पेशलिस्ट प्रोग्रामर रोल व्हिच वाज अर्लियर पावर प्रोग्रामर रोल एज वेल एज यू ऑलरेडी नो एक्सेंचर हैज आल्सो लॉन्च द ऑन कैंपस ड्राइव फॉर मल्टीपल कॉलेजेस फॉर 2025 बैच एंड नाउ इन्फोसिस हैज आल्सो लॉन्च दिस पर्टिकुलर ड्राइव फॉर 2025 बैच so this is really good sign for 2025 batch students that you are getting more and more opportunities just you need to make sure you are ready to grab these opportunities now in this video i am going to share all the important information about the important topics what is the information or content shared by infosys for this particular post i am going to share all the details but before that if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure you do that we are going to post lot of on campus and off campus updates we are also going to post lot of free job preparation related material if you are having any queries regarding any preparation make sure you comment on this particular video now let me continue with the preparation part now so what you can expect in this particular short video basically we are going to discuss about the different rounds conducted by infosys we are also going to do topic wise analysis we are going to check what are the sample papers of infosys that has been shared by the company itself and other details which has been shared by infosys now as i have earlier mentioned this is on campus drive this is not off campus drive so this will this drive will be specifically for some selected colleges across india if you have not received information about this particular drive from college you can just once check with your training and placement department whether this particular opportunity is available or applicable for you guys or not okay so let me continue with the part now the job role which has been offered over here is specialist programmer which is 9.5 lpa okay which is really high which is really good opportunity along with this infosys also used to offer two other job roles one was the initial software engineer job role the package was a system engineer you can call it and the package was around 3.5 lpa there was one more job role digital specialist programmer and it was around 6.5 lpa but right now the on campus which has been organized or on campus which has been launched it is for specialist programmer which is for 9.5 lpa just to share you one more information for your senior batch that is 2024 batch as well just last month they had exam for the specialist programmer role even some of the students had exam in the july month itself so you can check for 2024 batch this particular job opportunity came almost at the end of their graduation but for 2025 batch they have launched it at the start of their graduate uh, start of their final year so which is a really good thing so you will be getting more and more opportunities ultimately you need to make sure you convert these opportunities into placement services now as you can check they are going to provide you around 9.5 lpa okay uh, this particular package the usual experience whatever students have from the last 2 to 3 years for this particular exam the exam is extremely difficult okay i will be very honest the exam is extremely difficult so you need to prepare more and more now how you can do a preparation basically for this particular exam they are going to have coding round and then you will be having interview rounds now for coding there are some important topics that also we will be discussing basically i will go to the coding test format as well the particular coding test is going to contain three questions and 3 hours will be given so 180 minutes for 3 hours to be honest the experience which has been shared by the students those 3 hours are also not sufficient to solve these coding questions now each question has a different difficulty level now the first question you can call it like easy to medium and the problem will be based on algorithm the aptitude and data structure though i am calling it as easy or medium level but it is compared with the other two questions so not necessarily it will be very easy level for all the students but if you compare all the three questions which will be given by infosys infosys the first question will be comparatively easier now the second problem state will be medium level and the problem will be based on greedy algorithm concept and the next will be hard difficulty level and usually it is based on dynamic programming now whatever information i am sharing right now it is based on the previous year pattern okay or even the pattern which your senior faced uh, just like last month if there are any changes to the pattern we will update you through this particular youtube channel so make sure you subscribe to this channel 
Also, one very important thing, you cannot wait for Infosys to tell whether this pattern is going to be followed or not. You need to start with the preparation immediately because the difficulty level is very high for this particular exam. Now, what you need to do, guys, as you can check, there are going to be three coding questions. Okay. You cannot directly start with Infosys SP role specific questions. If you have not earlier studied the foundation training of programming language DSA or you can call advanced DSA as well. Once you do that, then you can start with difficult level advanced questions. You can say of Infosys SP. If you directly jump to previous year questions, that will be a challenge for you. So if I talk about the first easy level question, that particular question is usually based on the concepts that I have shown on the screen. If you want, you can take a screenshot as well. The concepts are like arrays, function, recursion, data structure in depth, number conversion, strings, OOPS related approach, STL, framework collection, inbuilt libraries and nested loops. So the first question you can say will be based on these particular concepts. Now, if you check for the Infosys medium level analysis, these will be the concepts that I have shown on the screen. If you want, you can take a screenshot as well. You will realize one thing in this particular part, they are focusing more on the greedy algorithm concepts. So you need to revise those concepts as well. Now, if I talk about a difficult level question, usually it is based on these particular concepts and more focus will be on dynamic programming approach. So you can again take a screenshot and later on revise these particular concepts. The usual experience of the student has been if you are able to solve one or two questions out of three, still you may get a chance for the interview purpose. That does not mean you can skip the remaining questions. You need to try and you need to solve those questions. But if you are able to solve one or two questions correctly, then the chances will be higher. Okay, because the difficulty level is also higher. Now, as you can check, I have mentioned the concepts which are important for the difficult level questions. Those students who will crack this particular round, they will go for the interview round. Now, interview round, right now I will discuss it in a quick manner. Later on, I will create a separate video for the interview preparation for SP role. Usually the questions based on the resume, programming language, advanced DSA concepts, then your projects, whatever extra projects also that you have done. If you know some latest technology questions can be based on that. If you have mentioned that in a resume, also whatever workshop certifications you have done, you will be facing questions based on that. There can be some questions during your interview based on database management and also some other core subjects. Now, if you ask me what is the best way to prepare for the interviews, it will be mock interview because you need to attempt at least two to three mock interviews. Since the difficulty level is high, you need to prepare more for this particular opportunity. Now I will quickly share the sample paper, which has been shared by the Infosys itself. You might have received it from your college training and placement department. If you have not received it, you can just go through this particular page. As you can check, they have given three sample tests or three sample questions basically. Okay. Over here. So you can go through it. Once you go through the question, you will realize the difficulty level is high and you need to prepare more for this particular question. Now, please understand only solving or doing practice for these three questions are not going to be enough. You need to solve similar kind of questions which are available. Okay. That is again, very important. So difficult questions of hacker rank, hacker earth or any other platform. If you solve it, it will be very easy or it will be convenient for you to prepare for Infosys SP role. Along with that, they have provided two other documents as well regarding the eligibility criteria. So how to calculate your marks, average marks, they have given particular data. Also, one more thing they have cleared regarding the eligibility criteria. So that information is also shared with the college. You can once check it. Now, one very important thing you might ask that how to prepare for Infosys opportunity. Now, as you know, we already run complete masterclass batch where we provide training for different companies. So we have already started with the training for the Accenture on campus drive. Many students have already joined us on our dashboard for the Infosys preparation. We already have Infosys preparation course in which there is 20 plus hours of previously asked SP role specific questions are available. So you will get first idea how you need to prepare for this particular SP role exam and 20 plus hours of content specifically for SP role is available over here where previously asked questions are covered. 
Now, if you ask me, can you directly solve this SP role question without knowing basics of programming or without knowing basics of DSA, then that won't be possible. So what we have done in the complete masterclass, you get another tab with the name technical courses where you can go through a programming language in detail. It can be C, CPP, Java or Python. Then you can learn data structure as well in detail up to advanced concepts like dynamic programming, greedy algorithm. If you want to practice the competitive coding related statements, that is also available. If you want to do a general preparation of the coding statements, so we have provided 100 days coding and DSA sheet as well. Now for Infosys, right now in this particular job role, they are not focusing on the aptitude part. But for any other company like Accenture, TCS or any other company, you are going to have aptitude questions. So we have provided all the aptitude questions in the complete masterclass batch where you get 50 plus topics of quantitative, logical, verbal from basics to advanced. You get extra practice questions for each and every topic. If you are not confident with the English grammar, we have created a specific course for grammar concepts as well. You can go through it. Now the next part will be company specific training. So as we have provided Infosys, Accenture kind of previous year questions, we have 25 plus company specific previous year questions, which includes Take Mahindra, LNT, TCS and some other service and product based companies. Now the next, those students who want to opt for higher package, companies will be expecting you to have good projects, good number of projects. So on the dashboard, you get 40 plus projects based on programming languages and latest technologies. We have provided latest technologies in detail as well. So we have full stack development course, which is 300 plus hours of course. Okay. Where front end back end technologies along with the projects we have completed. Also data science, AI ML course, IOT course, robotic course, also cloud computing using AWS course. One of the recent student of 2024 batch got placed in Amazon and he gave credit to this particular course because most of the questions were asked on the AWS course since he had done it earlier and mentioned that in the resume. So he got selected with the help of this particular course. So you can also do multiple latest technology courses and then the resume and interview preparation part. So basically you will be having access to the resume formats, resume uh, session, personal interview session, technical interview session, and you will get mock interview with industry experts, technical interview and personal interview in the complete masterclass. And then last but not the least is the mock test. You will be ha having topic wise aptitude test, su technical subject wise test and the coding and company specific test. So I have tried to cover this particular part quickly. So hope you have got the idea. Also, if you want to join the fees, just start from triple nine rupees. Okay. We have created a code as well, though you will be seeing able to see one, two, four, nine over here. Once you click on enroll now, then apply the code campus. Okay. So you get 20 percentage discount and the fees will start from triple nine rupees only. If you like the way in which we have shared this particular information with you guys, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. If you're having any queries, comment on this particular video. We will be putting a lot of content on our YouTube channel. Also, you can follow us on Instagram as well. If you're having any queries, all the best with your preparation. Make sure you grab all these opportunities and convert that into placement success. We are here to support you in your placement journey. Thank you.